I'm Christy Hilton, and I'm going to be walking you through the Elgin Police Department's Transparency Information website. We recognize the importance of transparency in policing, and this dashboard is intended to fulfill that crucial need within our community. Unless the data set is otherwise noted, dashboards are updated on 15 minute intervals. We're on the home screen right here, and as you can see, we have a total dispatch calls for service, response to resistance, and employee complaint totals. Now, if you're looking at this in January, you're going to see a very low number here and probably non-existent numbers for response to resistance and employee complaints. These two numbers are updated on a monthly or quarterly basis. Dispatch calls for service are updated every 15 minutes. So as the year goes on, you'll see these numbers change. Dispatch calls for service does not include some victim sensitive calls calls inv involving juveniles and calls with addresses not verified to an exact location. As you scroll down, you'll see that you have some resources available, such as community policing. This is where you're going to find what officers serve the area that, you're, that you live in. And if you're not sure which area, which beat you live in, that information is available here too. Crime data, we'll di dive into that pretty extensively here in just a minute. But that's got the calls for service, the shots fired information, homicides, um, traffic. So we'll look at that in just a second. And again, then you have the analysis pertaining to response to resistance and professional standards or employee complaints. It's also important to recognize the good work that the employees of the Elgin Police Department do. So we've dedicated a section to that, which we hope you'll take some time to look through. And if you're interested in, in our recruiting data, as well as our office, officer demographics, that's available here too. Applicant data is available from 2013 forward, and it's also thoroughly analyzed. Scrolling down here, you'll get the monthly crime recap information, including Chief Lally and the Fox Valley's uh, video, and then some more information over here pertaining to the website. Scrolling down further, these are quick links to information that is available on, this, on the City and Police Department's main website. All right, so I just want to quickly go through a couple things on the crime data. When you click into it, one thing I want to mention right away is to get back to the home screen, I'm going to click up here in the upper left-hand corner. That takes me right back. And that's throughout the whole site. That patch is your little home button. So going back into crime data, as you can see, these are all of our subcategories. Breaking and entering, these are just calls. These are not verified incidents. When I say that, it's important to keep that in mind because the call taker may have somebody calling and saying, hey, there's uh, my house has been burglarized, but the officer gets out there and finds that really you had somebody over that took something and that's actually a theft. So since this data is changing every 15 minutes, we're just providing some basic, uh, just inquiry level data for you to, to look at. To get the actual numbers, the burglary numbers, you would be clicking into the actual monthly report. So again, you can see the calls for service pertaining to burglaries for vehicles and residential or commercial properties on a seven day and 30 day basis. Now to get back to your subcategories, rather than clicking here and starting over, just click on this little X here up in the upper right hand corner. Calls for service, probably the one that most of you are going to be interested in. This is showing you today, a, a listing for today. So these are the calls that have been dispatched so far today, 48 of them. Now we had a lot of snow last night when I recorded this, so I'm sure some of these calls are going to be related to traffic. If you would like to just look at a beat, you can do that over here. Let's say I just want to look at beat 201. Nothing happened in there today. What about yesterday? I can click over here and I can change the date filter. These are all predefined dates on this tab, just kind of to make things a little bit easier and cleaner for everybody. If you wanted to look at a specific, let me clear this, a specific call type, then you could click on, let's just say, any burglaries today, nothing today, how about yesterday? And nothing yesterday either. How about this week? Nothing this week. I'm gonna hit it eventually. There we go. So this month we've had 12. 12 dispatch calls for burglary. 
All right, and then if you want to do custom dates, that's over here. It's defaulted to today's date, but you can change it to whatever you want. The same options are available. I forgot to show you on the first page, this, this applies throughout. There's a little magnifying glass here. This is where you would search for an address. So if I type in 151 Douglas Avenue in Elgin, it's gonna show me where I've, the address point that I've picked is here. Let's say I want to see what happened around the police department this week. And these are all of the lists or all the dots show you an incident. And then this list changes and shows you all of those too. Now, if I wanted to see where on the map this hazard investigation was, you click on it and it'll bring you to it. It's hard to see here in the video, but yes, it, it highlights, it lights up for you. To clear that, anytime you see something highlighted in blue in the list, that means you have a filter on. Say, I don't want that filter anymore. I just unclick it and it zooms back out. We have some navigation help over here. Just some little information that I just covered in case you forget. So I wanna go back to the subcategories. I click that X in the right hand corner. You can look and see what kind of activity we've had for downtown Elgin. Gunfire incidents is probably something that most people will be interested in. This is a fully analytical set for, when you see it, it's going to be defaulted for this year. That means that you're not gonna see very much, if anything at all. Now, it looks like a lot here because I'm taping this at the end of 2020, and this is all the gunfire incidents that we've had so far this year. You can see where they've happened, or I'm sorry, the dates of when they happened and how many happened on which dates. And this is not a configurable list because it's just capturing a year-to-date picture. 30-day, 90-day trends. These are the verified incidents for 30 days and 90 days. But if you want to do your own analytics, this is where you're going to go. We have predefined dates. So if you want to see this month, these are it's defaulting to this month, excuse me, and it shows you all of the incidents that have happened in Elgin this month pertaining to gunfire. Say I want to change it to last month, I can do that right here, or I can add custom date selections. Um, let's say I want to see where the incident was where we had one gunfire victim last month. I click here and it's going to show me which incident that was. It's also going to change that list here and obviously show you where it is on the map as well. So there's a lot you can do with here. There's a lot of filtering capabilities. And then to clear your fil filter, you just click on unfiltered and it brings everything back. As you can see, we have data available from 2016 forward. So year to year to year, you can put that all in there and I'll give it a shot here. Hopefully it won't take too long to pull it all in. And it's going to take a minute to think. It's thinking. And that's the thing too, the more data you put in, the slower the performance is going to be. And I'm not gonna wait because you can try it for yourself. Homicide data. We have cold cases available from 1971 through 1999 front and center here. Within those, if you click into them, some of them are gonna have newspaper articles attached to them. Some of them are not. If I could find one, I did attach it so that you could click into it and see some of the background that was publicized about that homicide. Full homicide data is available from 2000 forward. When I say full homicide, that means the victim demographics and any arrest information. So, um, you have the year to date count and then the total. So there is no filter on this. This is 2000 forward. So from 2000 to the forward to the date of this video, there have been 66 homicides in Elgin. And here again, you can do your own analytics. We have the victim's ages, the listing, 
case status, statuses, gender, and ethnicity. And again, custom filters uh, for the dates are available. Anytime you change one thing, it changes the rest of the, the charts. Again, to get out of that, you click on the X. And sex offenders, if you want your sex offender data, that's the portal to that. And traffic data, it's operating the same way. Uh, right now, it's all traffic incidents for this week. And again, like I said, we had some snow. So maybe I just want to see what happened. Do I want traffic crashes for this week? There we go. We've had 38 traffic crashes, and these are the beats that they've happened in and the day of the week. See, Tuesday is pretty high. I'm taping this on Wednesday, and Tuesday is when we had the snow. We can do traffic general, traffic stops. Say you want to see how many traffic stops we've had this week in beat, I don't know, 702. We've had a couple. So there's a lot you can do here just analyzing traffic data. So that is your subcategories for crime. And again, to get back to the main page, I'm going to the upper left-hand corner. Response to resistance. We have the overview, and at the time this is taped, we don't have the 2020 done just yet, but that's forthcoming. Year-to-date analysis, suspect demographics, officer demographics, and taser and OC spray use. Getting back to the main page, professional standards investigations, and these are all broken down as you can find out how to file a complaint, what the allegations, finding, and discipline were, along with definitions of everything, and links to additional resources and employee data. Going back to the home page, this pretty much sums it up, I think. Um, you can obviously, when you get into the employee recognition, come on now, there we go. We've got some pictures, some newspaper articles, our quarterly and annual awards, and then there's a feed to our Facebook page. And finally, the officer demographics. This is what's called a story map. And it gives you all kinds of information. These are our officer demographics. And then as we scroll down here, we get all of the information pertaining to the applications from 2014 forward, and then some more information going back. Clicking back to the patch here. And that's about all I'm going to show you. Um, please take some time exploring. If you have any other questions about the website, give me a call at 847-289-2970. This is ever evolving. We plan on putting more information out here and suggestions for improvement are welcome. Thank you. We appreciate you and hope you enjoy this transparency information.